Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a card for you, a shaker card. Don't we all love shaker cards? It features the new Iconic Imagery Bundle and Iconic Celebrations Designer Series Paper. Um, this, these products are brand new, available this week from Stampin' Up! online only. You won't find them in the catalog. Um, there's lots of holiday uh, products as well. So if you're looking for holiday products, in the summer you know we all like to do christmas in july go check them out this one is great for christmas but it also has fall images things for valentine's day birthday it runs the whole gamut and i have several videos on um, youtube for you using this bundle if you're looking for ideas um, so we're going to make a Christmas shaker card. Um, this die that we're using right here is really cool. It cuts out, not only does it cut out the stamped image, but it also will cut out this image right here from the designer series paper. Let me just flip through the paper to show you what's in here. You've got Christmas, look, champagne for New Year's, acorns, fall colors, that fun um, plaid that we're going to use, fireworks, birthday, winter pumpkins my favorite another plaid um re holiday religious holiday birthday confetti stars so many so many options so that is the iconic celebrations designer series paper all right let's do let's get all of our little pieces first actually no you know what because we don't want to lose any let's make this front piece right here you're going to take a four by five and a fourth inch piece of old olive and we're going to cut it out using this everyday details die and i have a piece of post-it tape on there so that i can make sure i get it exactly how i want it let's try to get it straight the best we can and then use that post-it tape to stick that in place all right now run it through your cut and emboss machine whoops i am one plate short Got to have both plates on here. I can feel it as soon as I crank that handle. All right, run that through. And you're going to take this rectangle out. You can see it puts the dots there, but it also puts the dots along the border of the image that you've just cut out. Now I'm going to take my foam piece and my die brush attachment uh, for my take your pick tool and see if I can get all of these out. Now I could tell that I left the little dots in there from the last project I did so they didn't cut out quite as well. So we might have to do some dot surgery. Just take the pointy end of your take your pick tool, get those stubborn little dots that don't want to come out. All right, so there, now we've got our frame. And I'm going to take a piece of what we call window sheet. This is available in our catalog and we're going to put that down right there. I am going to get my um, stamp and seal and put some seal right there like that. Now to make it a shaker we're going to use these foam adhesive strips. Okay. And you're gonna, the important thing about a shaker is to make sure that they all touch each other, the foam strips, so that nothing will escape. I'm gonna run this first one um, on the outside of those dots, all right? And the reason I'm, I'm trying to stay close to the window so that when you shake them, you don't want them to get lost down here. So I make sure to put that adhesive um, inside the window as much as possible. All right, now take your next strip and bump it up right along that one. And, and you know, I cut that one at an angle for some reason, and we don't want anything slipping through there. So make sure there's no gap. And then we'll cut this one like that. Let's get another one. And we're going to run this one. I'm going to bump it up next to that. Like that. And then we're going to take, let's see, I need a straight piece. I'm going to bump it up right there. And there we go. Okay, so there is our frame for our shaker. I'm going to show you right now. 
All right, we're gonna take old olive and I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap paper because we're gonna do some stamping off. This is a two-step stamp, which means it takes two stamps to make your image. And I'm gonna stamp this outline part in old olive. And you can do it as many times as you want. Six, five or six is probably plenty. Do however many you want. All right, now I'm gonna take what I call the fill-in image and I'm gonna ink it up, but I'm gonna stamp it off there first before I stamp it there. That's giving us a lighter shade for our tree. All right, and I'm just gonna go through here and do all of this. That way we've got a two-toned tree. All right, now once you've got those, you're gonna take that die that I showed you and you're gonna cut them all out. Now for us, I have done this ahead of time. I've cut a bunch of them out. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Let's just do that many. Oh, there's a glitter one. All right, now you're also gonna cut out, let's get our frame. You're also gonna cut out six of the old olive glimmer paper trees. No stamping, you're just gonna cut those. And I'm gonna layer these down face down, like this, kind of sporadically. Some need to go behind, some go in front. Let's see, I'm trying to put the glitter ones behind and some in front. We'll put that one, let's put that one. And let's do another glimmer like that. Now, the other thing that we're gonna put in here are, let's see the, here they are, the DSP trees, the trees that I showed you from the patterned paper. DSP stands for Designer Series Paper. It's another, it's just a fancy word for pattern paper. So I took that die, the same die that cut out our stamped trees and our glitter trees, and I cut out, this piece right here, a bunch of those, all right? And I'm gonna set those in there. Let's see, let's find, is there one more I can do? Right there. You can see our shaker is getting filled up. Now I'm gonna take some gold foil stars. Again, this die is from this um, iconic um, imagery die and uh, stamp set. And I just cut them from gold foil. Okay, let's do one more. And then last but not least, we've got these awesome champagne iridescent dots. And I'm gonna put those in here as well. Just kind of sprinkle them like that. All right, now here comes the tricky part. You gotta not sneeze, okay? Carefully peel off. Your backing, all four of them. And then I've cut a piece of that plaid designer series paper and I cut it a little bit smaller so I have some wiggle room, three and three fourths by five. And I'm gonna lay it, or maybe I did, no, I did a little bit smaller. It looks like it's maybe three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Set that down, seal everything in, and then there is your shaker. See how they move around? Now, if you put too much, it's gonna get crowded and they won't move around. So don't over stack it, okay? All right, take your old olive card base. Stick that on there like that. My favorite die in this whole set is this label. Um, and it, the stamp set has a great stamp that goes with it. It says celebrate can be really anything. We're gonna stamp that right in the middle towards the top as much as possible in Cherry Cobbler. Okay. And then we're gonna stamp the season in um, craft ink. All right, now we're gonna celebrate the season in craft white ink. 
This is, uh, we're gonna emboss. I'm gonna rub the cherry cobbler piece with my embossing buddy to remove any static. And then I'm gonna take my stamp and I'm gonna stamp it on a scrap of cherry cobbler. Now take your, I should be doing this over my tray, your white embossing powder. Sprinkle that on. Get your heat tool and give it just a few seconds to heat up and then you'll see your letters turn nice and shiny. All right, now I am just gonna cut this out as a rectangle. It's still just a tad bit sticky, so give it about five or 10 seconds before you touch it. So just trim that out like that. And then I'm gonna use what I have left of one of my foam adhesive sheets. We'll put that on the back like that, and we're gonna put that right there, okay? So now grab your dimensionals and let's put a dimensional on the back and put that right across there like that. Okay, now how about we embellish it? First, let's put this piece of basic white on the inside. Did I do anything on the inside of mine? I did not. So, you know, maybe we should stamp a tree. What do you think? Let's just stamp a tree right there to carry over that imagery from our shaker. All right, now we're gonna take these little champagne shakers and we're gonna add just a couple here to the front. All right, so I've put some tiny dots of glue and I'm gonna use my take your pick tool to hopefully set those down. They like to hang on to the take your pick tool. Let's see. They have a flat side, so try to grab onto the ones that are rounded at the top facing you. It'll make it a little bit easier. There we go, and let's get a little one right there. Uh-oh, there we go. Okay, but also we need a bow. And I have my gold trim. This is also an online exclusive. Elegant trim, I can't remember what's the name. That may not be the right name. I'll have it on the supply list. It comes in gold and silver in a two pack. So you get both. We're gonna put that on with a little glue dot right there. And there you go. There is your shaker card. All right, now that would be a fun Christmas card. I'm not sure I would wanna make a hundred of those, but a few for those very special people in your life would be great. Don't forget to check out the Iconic Imagery Bundle, the Iconic Celebration Pattern Paper on our website, and hop back to my blog to get that free PDF and find the other Iconic Imagery projects. Thanks, everybody. Happy stamping. Bye.